Hello YouTube. So today I'm going to do a fish house tour. This is my office. It's kind of the main fish room. I have several tanks in here. And we're just going to kind of go through them and talk about each one a little bit and uh, let you know what's going on. So the first tank over here. This is my convict cichlid rescue tank. There's several, quite a few convict cichlids in here. It's a 55 gallon tank. Have some live plants with um, driftwood and some hornwort floating. Help control the nitrates in this tank. Ammonia. Anyway, uh, this tank's pretty hard to clean because of the large rocks. It used to be an African cichlid tank. So the Africans would have babies and they'd hide down in these large rocks. That's how I used to breed them. But it's now a convict cichlid tank. Next tank is a 55 gallon where Snape is. This is temporary for him. His 125 started leaking, so he's been in this tank for a little while while I'm fixing the 125. He's a pretty good sized boy. Anyway, uh, I also have to help control the nitrates in this tank. If it'll focus. Um, some pothos ivy plant. You can see the roots growing down into the tank. He doesn't bother the roots, so that's good. Also have hornwort in this tank. He likes to hide under that rock there. And over here I have my 10 gallon saltwater tank. This was supposed to be a temporary tank, but as you can see, it's not temporary. I have a little bit of an algae problem in this tank. The snails aren't really doing that great of a job. Now this tank, I have my bikers and a couple of uh, jaguar cichlid babies. Let's see one of the. One of the jet, uh, one of the uh, bikers right there. I'm just chilling out. I have three bikers in here. There's one of the other ones. And I'm not sure where the jaguar. There's one. So that's another 10 gallon tank. That's just my 10 gallon baby tank. Uh, fry tank So that's where they're at temporary. I'll, I'll be moving them sometime soon And I'm sure most of you guys know this fella This is Oliver or Paku Yeah, he's watching me I think he knows when I'm videoing him This is orangey my son named him Orangey because he's orange. Actually, she. And my other Jaguar cichlids, there's one behind Oliver. And this is a 300 gallon tank, by the way, with a 55 gallon tank made into a sump. It's my male Jag. And as you can see behind them, they have eggs. They laid them a couple days ago, so we'll see. Might get some more Jaguar babies from them. You can see they moved a lot of the rocks around. Trying to make a bed, and then they laid the eggs on the big rock. And then here is the 125 gallon tank stand. You can see it's got water damage. Uh, the stand's still solid. It's 
two by four construction. I built it myself, three quarter inch plywood, but uh, just some surface damage. That's where Snape will go once uh, I get it resealed. So that's this room. I'll go to the other rooms and show you the rest of the tanks. Okay, here we have my 29 gallon uh, plant in tank. Uh, it's a convict cichlid fry tank. You can see there's lots of convict cichlid fry. Um, sorry about all the algae. I'm doing a little experiment, seeing how well these autos will clean it up. They've cleaned up quite a bit of the rock so far in the driftwood there, but there's just a lot of algae in this tank, so we're seeing how good they do. Like I said, it's a planted tank. Have the Anubius with the driftwood, some fern. And that's about it for this tank. See, I have lots of convict cichlid fry. Some of them have pretty cool markings. All right, we'll go to the next tank and be back. Okay, so we're now in the spare bedroom where I have the Frontosa grow out tank. As you can see, I gave them a couple cubes of blood worms. And like I said, this is just my Frontosa grow out tank. It's a 55 gallon tank. And all the baby Frontosa from my breeding colony I bring over to this tank. You see there's one of the little babies. Nope, he went in the rocks. There's a couple of flying foxes in here. A red-tailed shark. I also have plants in this tank, live plants. You can see some of them here. They do pretty good. There's one of the guys. Had some Amazon sword back there, but they decided they'd rather eat it. He's enjoying his blood worms. Also, up top, I have some pothos ivy plant. It's in the filter back there. Helps control the nitrates, nitrites, and ammonia. This is a newer addition. Uh, I think it's called frog bit. I'd really like to put more of those in the tanks. I like how they have the roots that grow down. It's grown quite a bit since I got it. Anyway, that's my Frontosa grow out tank. Alright, I'll continue the tour. Head to the dining room, show you the uh, Frontosa, the big Frontosa tank, the 220 gallon. I'll be back. Okay, so we're in the dining room I, where I have my 220 gallon Frontosa tank. I just gave them three cubes of blood worms just to kind of get them out. They kind of like to hide. There's my big male. He's my oldest fish. He's 10 years old. Anyway, I got lots of rocks in this tank and uh, sand. It's actually um, National Geographic sand you get from PetSmart. All the fish are down toward this corner where the, the food is. Of 
for filtration for this tank. Have the FX6, which is running strong. Great filter. I also put Seachem um, Matrix inside of it. And then I got another canister filter here, Cascade 1500. Those two filters seem to do the job for this tank. Let's see if I can get back and get a. Sorry about the glare. Got a window in the dining room here. That stand, I actually built the stand myself. That's my 220 gallon uh, Frontosa colony tank. Zoom in on the big male there. Love that tank. Anyway, if I turn around here, I have a 20 gallon long. I temporarily put it, um, see if I can get in there hiding this log. I temporarily put them in here because um, I had to use their tank to put Snape in when the other one started leaking. So uh, it's two convict cichlids. It's a breeding pair. Not much to see there. And my 35 gallon hexagon saltwater tank. My son wanted some little Nemo's. So we got some little Nemo's. I can give them a little bit of food, see if I can get the uh, other guys out. There's uh, three peppermint shrimp in this tank. And uh, two There's one of the shrimps down in there in the rocks. There he is. I hope they come out. There's two, uh, I believe they're gobies, like watchman gobies. Not sure exactly what kind, but there comes a little shrimp. Nope, oh, he's seen me. Oh. Yeah, there's all three shrimp. They smelled the food. Put a little more food in. See if I can get the gobies out. Oh, there's one. Guess he smelled the food too. They are really cool. They come out and look around. There's the other one. They have some pretty yellows on them. They really like to hide in the rocks. They've dug all kinds of caves in the rock, underneath the rocks and the sand. Really neat fish. I had bad algae problem in this tank and then I got some of these uh, turbo snails. 
and they took care of it for me. Anyway, that's my 35 gallon hexagon saltwater tank. Alright, I'll head to the last room and show you the last two tanks. Okay, I'm in our bedroom now. This is what I look at night when I'm sitting here watching a little TV, chilling out. This is my 29 gallon uh, high door magic world tank. Of course I have the tiger barbs, you can see them. I gave them a little cube of blood worms. And my leaf fish. He's eyeballing those blood worms. He's fixing to go in and get some. Whoa. There we go. Anyway, that's this tank. Um, you can see it's time to trim back the uh, hornwort again. That stuff just grows crazy. And the algae eaters. I actually just found out those are Chinese algae eaters. I bought them under the uh, label of autos. And they're not. Anyway, that's my uh, High Door Magic World planted tank. See the leaf fish back there getting some blood worms. He's just a really cool fish. And if I move over here, have the 90 gallon Oscar tank. Got the Oscars and the silver dollars and the convex cichlid in here. Also have some horn wart in here. The silver dollars like to munch on it. There's Albie. And then there's Big Mama back there. He kind of likes to stay back there. Uh, this tank, I also have the uh, Pothos Ivy up here in the filter. Really seems to help with the nitrate, so try to put it in all the tanks. And that's it for the tour. It's all my tanks. Uh, there's 12 of them up and running, and I have one that's 125 gallon that I have to uh, reseal. So then it'll be 13. Alright, thanks for watching everybody.